pressure can be very irritating, but what about when your ears never clear? Well, now there's a fix. Have a look. I have a sensation of water in my head. I have a clicking noise constantly. Every time I swallow, it never goes away. I think I've cried every day for the last three years because I always have a headache. No doctor can tell me what's wrong with me. Um, so you get real hopeless. I got a hold of Dr. Weeks after I saw him on the doctor's TV show. He immediately said on the phone, that sounds like your Eustachian tubes. And I couldn't believe it because this was the seventh ENT I'd seen and not one had said Eustachian tubes yet. You know, I'm really excited. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of hope that this will take care of your problems and, and uh, you know, get you your life back again. Remember that Eustachian tube is a tube that connects the nose to the middle ear or the part of the ear behind the eardrum. We're gonna try to allow that valve to open and equalize that pressure that's been a big part of Diane's problem. So that little opening right there is the Eustachian tube opening. That little fold of tissue is where the eustachian tube comes into the nasal cavity. And that is really where the root of Diane's problem is, I believe. This is the balloon catheter system, and it has a special guide on the back of it that allows us to position it in the back of the nose and then get it where we need it to go. So that is now in position, and you'll see the balloon leaving the device, going up into Diane's eustachian tube. Now I'm simply going to inflate the balloon. The goal here is to allow the eustachian tube to start opening and closing more normally. We've successfully dilated that outflow opening, and now we're going to deflate the balloon, and we're going to gently remove our device from the nose. We've successfully dilated both of Diane's eustachian tubes, and we'll gently suction out her nose. She'll wake up in the recovery room, and I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple hours Diane has significant improvement in her symptoms. Ultimately, I think her results are going to be excellent. That was ear, nose, and throat surgeon Dr. Brian Weeks and his patient Diane, and they're both with us here today. Welcome. Now, Travis, as, a, as an ear, nose, and throat surgeon, that was some pretty slick stuff. And that very visual, cool. knowing that anatomy, the eustachian tube, I mean, very small spaces, really neat. Very cool. And just a few days ago, you had this procedure, right, Diane? Yes. So we want to know, how are you feeling? From the minute I woke up, my ears weren't clicking. From my first swallow, I thought, I, I couldn't believe it. I kept swallowing, thinking, oh my gosh, I this isn't my ears aren't clicking. And I also had pain with it, and the pain was gone. Like, just, it was instant. It was like, to me, it was like magic. And, and Dr. Weeks, is this a new procedure? <clears throat> the procedure itself is actually a newer procedure. This procedure is really used to treat people who are a refractory or failed traditional therapy. And, you know, with the eustachian tube, it's, it's complicated because it involves the eardrum, it involves the middle ear space, and it goes all the way into the nose. So. Right, and you mentioned that uh, in surgery, but again, for everybody out there, this is the eustachian tube, which begins in the back of the nasopharynx inside the oral cavity. And the whole purpose is to make sure that the pressure is the same on both sides of the eardrum, which is sitting right here. Now, if this eustachian tube is closed down, negative pressure inside the eardrum, that's when you get all that popping, clicking, pain, irritation. Now, I'm sure our listeners want to know, because their kids have been told they have eustachian tube dysfunction. Is this also something good for kids? Certainly, children who have problems as, in, as young people and then grow up as adults, a lot of them continue to have problems, and I think that may be a group of patients that we can really help with this as well. But the majority of those kids will outgrow that problem in time. Very good. Dr. Weeks, thank you so much. Oh, Dan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.